make it a stagnation. We are still in the hiring theme that carry on from many questions that I actually received. Let's talk about culture fit. So we are going to cover the meaning of culture fit. What exactly what it means? The factor that would define the culture fit, the downside, the downfall of culture fit. And should you use culture fit in your company in the hiring process? So let's get started. What is it actually is culture fit, right? We as human beings, we live in society. So in the nature, we want to feel belong. We want to feel likable. We want to be near to people that like us, that have a similar interest, similar behaviors, similar tastes, let's say. Working in a company environment or in a team environment as well. How you build a culture is within a group of people or within a society is how you find a compatibility within teammates that you finding, hey, we can work together. We are a good fit together that we will um, complement each other when we work together. So culture fit actually means, in my opinion, that how well our team members support each other in the belief, in the action that match to our company value, company goals, the workflow dynamics, the expectation, the frameworks, problem solving method, these things, how it fit, how it match, and how it complement each other. Not only the skill side, but how it fit well. So this is the meaning of culture fit, in my opinion. But what would define, right? What are the factors that would define that this is the culture fit? So I would say that you need to define what is your value in your company first. Because if you don't know what is the value of your company, for example, over here in Get and Stagnation, we value family, we value time, we value your um preference, let's say, first. So if you don't know your value of the company, how could you know the one that you're hiring currently are a good match if you don't have the answer? What about the company vision? I would suggest you to read Vivid Vision. I mentioned about that in many videos already. It's a life-changing for me building a company. When you have a clear vision, you can sell that vision to anyone who's going to come and work with you. So when you have that clear vividly, vivid vision, then you can communicate your vision clearer and better and also ask your potential candidates who are going to come and work with you, building this company with you, and also talking to the clients for you or with you along the way within the vision of your company. So if they are in alignment, if they are compatible, then you will know that it's a culture fit. What about a company mission, right? You always set the mission because you have to set the goal. So this is something that are their mission, personal and professional, are in alignment with your company currently. Communication style. This is something that having argument about a lot. Do they understand the same way or they receive the message the same way as you are? Do you have to explain every single words that you say? If it's something like that, it would be very hard to work together. Think about it. If this type of person require to have a video explanation every time that you assign work to them, do you have time to dedicate and explain that um that task or assignment to them that way? If you do so and you are happy to do it, that's fine. That could be your culture. But if not, if you prefer to type down and make it as a clear written SOP instruction that may be not compatible culture fit in communication style, right? Belief system. This is something that it depends on the company. Um, in Thailand, we do have like um, some mute lu we call like it's about spiritually or something. It's about you. What is your belief system that as a whole company that believe together like strongly, what is it about? If you do have that certain things that you have, or do you believe that family first, like what we are, we put the family first. Um, so if the person who you are hiring, they actually work driven and they're not going to take rest at all, maybe that could cause stress to the rest of the team. Think about it. 
So it may not healthy and not causing the balance in the whole ecosystem within a team member. So the belief system is one of the factors that would define the culture fit as well. But and last but not least, problem solving. This is one of the very important things that I use to hiring people in my team. How they solve the problem, how they explain things to solve the problem. If it's not clear enough, it would be very hard to me to communicate with them. And if they not learn how to get better at solving problem in clarity, we have to talk. So these are the things that um, could be included in the interview question when you're hiring. And I think it's very important because you will know right away whether they could work with you or not. And because of those factors, it would help you to see the importance of these um, culture fit evaluation, let's say, because it would help you regarding to employee engagement about retention of your team members or even turnover rate that could reduce or the collaboration that you could speak together easier, like you get each other easier. Are you able to have a better teamwork because of that? Or even a better whole organization or whole team performance better because you guys can just talk less and understand better because you have already vet the like-minded people together. However, everything has pros and cons, right? So what are the downside of culture fit? There are challenges that when you very niche down people that you would like to work with, it could be bias when you say that, oh, maybe we cannot work together because you are not our type of people. It could feel discriminate because of that. But sometimes you have to accept that maybe that's right because I have tried and I used to open-minded that I could teach them however it wasn't work. So you have to find a balance on that as well. But this could be a downfall mm, in the way. Or maybe the diversity or lack of innovation because you see, if you know what's right or what's compatible for you, you will keep looking for the same type of people. And you wouldn't see the other side or the differences that maybe could help you develop the more ideas of product and service that could give you different perspective from different type of people or different type of personality that maybe sparkle the way that you work, right? So that could be the downside of culture fit as well. What about the personality overload? Because everyone may be similar in a way and you will find everyone are too similar at some point and therefore you may be think the same way so much and no one argue with you. That could be another bad thing though in sometimes because like everyone but you can also train them to have their own opinion that have argument and also having like feedback loop as well. But personality wise, this could be a problem of having culture fit as well. What about the talent? So the talent and culture maybe not in a alignment just yet because talent and skill set can be a different things. I mean, it could go along together, but culture and talent, mm, let me think. They maybe come together as a package, but in my opinion, some skill can be learned, but the soft skill such as problem solving and these type of culture that would be rooted down, sometimes it cannot be taught though. So you need to evaluate how would you like the diversified team to be blend and how you want it to be at so that you can see the different perspective as well, not only in one way or one sided. So at the end of the day, should you use culture fit in hiring? I would suggest you to have the culture fit in hiring 100%, but don't only use the culture fit assignment. You need to know what is fit or compatible to your company. You exactly need to find that sweet spot. Because if you don't know that, how can you able to screen that this is working? How can you streamline of the workflow that is working? But it will never be perfect, right? We evolve as a human. 
the company always growing and it's always changing by economics, by legal, by clients that comes and goes, by product that we keep developing. Things change and the process needs to be updated all the time. Culture can be changed as well. Maybe it could change by the time that change. For example, the COVID has passed. We used to work offline and we have to work more online, for example. So we have to adapt according to the situation at hand and the culture also go with the flow accordingly. However, we need to know what fit for us at a certain point in time. And we need to know what not working as well and what we need to use to adapt and evolve and develop so that we would keep growing and scaling and having a better process and ultimately achieving the right culture that everyone feels like I'm so happy, wake up and I would like to work. I want to see my teammates. I want to just check into work. This workplace is effective. My team members are amazing. Um, everyone is benefiting from each other. I could say and share things openly. So have a safe space for everyone in the workplace. I think that is so important. So what is your thought about culture fit? Share with me below. I hope you get unstuck in this topic of culture fit and see you in the next video. Let's get unstuck. Let's get unstuck.